What does this look like to you? Any guesses? Can anybody guess what this is? All right, let's get into it right after this. The four life cycles of an oyster. So, what you're actually looking at, have you guys guessed what it is yet? What you are actually looking at in this bin right here is 1.2 million oysters. That's right. That right there is about 25, 30,000 oysters in my hand. That is what you're looking at. Just a comparison. That's a regular water cap. Oh, I lost it. That right there is about 2,000 oysters. That little cap. Okay, so let's talk about the cycle of an oyster. There's four stages to an oyster. So this is the stage where we get them from the hatchery. They're very small, sometimes even smaller than this, like literally the size of a grain of sand. Now, I hope the camera can focus on that. That right there is three oysters on the tip of my finger. So that's when we get them. So that's the first cycle. These will be put into a protective box with a very extremely fine fine mesh so they don't fall through and this way they're filtering till they get to the next stage so the next stage is in about a month to about a month and a half this is how big they are so from a grain of sand to about a month and a half, I'd say these are about half inch. That's in a month and a half. Now these will be put into a six millimeter bag out in the ocean for about three months. So now we're at month six. This is it at month six. This is now ready to be taken out of the bags and planted on the bottom. And that's what we are doing now is we are emptying all of the bags from this spring that looked like that three months ago. This is what they look like now. And that is about, that is almost two inches. It's like one in See, I'm using my finger as the measurement. It's like one and three quarters. This is ready to be bottom planted. Okay? So once we plant these on the bottom, these will stay on the bottom now for about another eight months. Seven to eight months. And this is the harvesting product. So this is market oyster right here. So... From this to this, it takes me between 12 and 14 months. And that is how you grow an oyster. That is beautiful. So that's the four cycles. But look at that. Beautiful oysters. All my babies. All right, so since we're on the subject, now let me show you and take you and give you a little show as to how we plant these. And after that, I am also going to show you a harvest that you've never seen before. So stick around for that.
All right, so we just arrived back at the shop. Uh, we dropped the boat off. Now we're going to head to the north side of the Cape to uh, the other farm to do a, uh, a harvest and then a pre-harvest for Sunday. So I will see you on the north side of the Cape. All right, we made it to the north side. So now we're gonna go do the pre-harvest. Wanna say what's up, Luke? So, what's up? All right, let's go do this. Grow. Subscribe. That's right. The tide is dropping right now. Here they are in the boxes. They were harvested yesterday. They're in their bushel boxes, five per tray. And that's what we're picking up right now. And then when the water is totally dry, we'll be back and we will fill all of these to pick up on Sunday. Here they are, ready to go. All right, there we go. It took us 15 minutes for three of us to harvest 100 bushels. So now we're gonna head back in, unload the oysters into a truck, get them on ice. Right, Mike? Right. Get them on ice. Exactly. And we'll be back out to uh, pre-harvest some more. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can't see. All this. right, we've arrived at the beach. Time to unload these oysters. All right, so while he's getting the truck, uh, let me explain to you what's going on here. This is Vibrio season uh, up here in Massachusetts, pretty much all over the country that deals with oysters. So the way this, this works is between, from the time the oysters are exposed to air, like you saw us taking the boxes out, we have exactly two hours to get them into a refrigerated truck and put ice on them which in this case, uh, the three of us, we're going to do that in 45 minutes. So the truck is backing up and the oysters, they're in transport from the grant to the truck. They have to be covered, shaded. And that's what we did here. And now we're about to put them into the truck and ice them up. There we go. There we go, 100 bushels, ready to go back, be cleaned, packaged, and out the door they go. All right, all right, as you can see, the water is uh, dropped quite a bit, and it's still gonna drop a little more where this is totally dry. And uh, so the oysters have been put in the truck. They are heading back to the facility to be processed. But we came back out to the farm to uh, do some more harvesting so we can do the same process you saw today on Sunday. So this is us just getting ahead a little bit, uh, which helps a lot. So it gives us more time to spend with our families on Sunday instead of being out here you know, for a long time. Like you can start right now with us going through it. Here we go, all done, all filled, ready to go. It's a 
another 114 bushels. So let's have a look at the next process. See, there they are. That's, that's the ones we put in the truck earlier, earlier on today. They still haven't been gone through, but as you can see, some of them, these will be, these are already sold, ready to go. These will probably go first thing tomorrow morning, or maybe even later on tonight. But, and we just keep on making ice. Got to have the ice, very, very important. All right, let's move on to the next step. The life cycle of an oyster. Let's do it. That concludes this uh, oyster stage tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this, give the video a thumbs up. I would certainly hope you subscribe to the channel, support the channel, ring the notification bell so you're notified when I bring out new videos like this, gardening, cooking, anything. And until next time, you guys stay safe. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below. Till next time.